are here today at Walmart. Prices are going up. Seriously, it's almost like hard to afford to live. So Jason and I have been trying to be more mindful about our grocery shopping. So I wanted to show you all a little budget friendly grocery haul while we pick up some groceries. I'm gonna give you some tips and tricks to help you save some money too. Let's go. I always try to get as much produce as I can at Walmart. Overall, I feel like you're not gonna spend any more money here. You're likely gonna save money or it'll be about the same cost. So we are grabbing some asparagus here. We just compared it with Wegmans. It's the same cost at $2.98. Some Walmarts are better than others in terms of like how fresh their produce is. I hear a lot of people say they skip Walmart for that reason, but Jason and I have really good luck with produce here in my opinion. And also there's different like levels of grade food. Yes. Specific to each Walmart. A Walmart maybe in a area where people have a little bit more money, they're yeah. gonna have better produce. It's gonna depend on the county and how, how much money the county has. So we do see differences even just where we live based on the different Walmarts that we go to. So the one we're at right now, I would say, I don't know if you agree, Jason, has the best produce selection. Yes, around here for sure. Yeah. yeah. But overall, I don't think you need to waste a lot of time doing price comparisons with Walmart. I think that's what's nice. Like you're, even the organic stuff, for instance, isn't usually gonna be cost, it's not usually gonna cost higher. You know, we're used to shopping at Wegmans. I've got another video up on Wegmans. You can check that out. I spend the most money there. So if I we can save get, nothing at Wegmans, we save nothing there. So if I can get any, if I can get any of that stuff here, we get it here. I think these are cheaper and they feel better than like Wegmans or another grocery store. I honestly think sometimes the produce here is even fresher. It is. I, I, like, I don't know if it's because I can't find good pineapples at Wegmans, but here. I can always get a good one. Yeah, yeah, so I'm gonna get a couple cucumbers. I wanna say this is the Walmart brand. These actually look a bit more, I don't wanna say a bit more expensive, but sometimes you can get these on deal, like a two for five bucks or something. So for me, if you're trying to save money, I'll wait till there's a special on the bag salad mixes. Um, otherwise, those can be a little pricey and it's definitely cheaper to just buy the salad stuff yourself, cut it up, chop it up, and make it on your own to save money. Oh, these are ginormous. Well, I, I use a lot of onion when I, so. This one's okay. We just need one though. Just one. Okay. We don't use a lot of onion, so you might look at the cost of buying something in bulk and see that as a cheaper option. You have to be careful with bulk shopping. You really have to think about, even though price per pound, if that's what it is, may be cheaper. If you're not gonna use it all and end up wasting some, it's not gonna be cheaper. Which, we don't have kids, so that's where we that's, really that's need to be careful tough. buying like, in bulk. We're very particular. We have like a BJ's and a Costco here. We don't buy a ton of food in bulk, like condiments, paper towels, things like that. Um, salt, pepper, that stuff works okay. Rice, things that don't perish, like aren't perishable. If you are able to kind of like think about who you're buying for, if it's just for one person or if you're buying for your whole family, that's where buying stuff in bulk can really save you some money at the end of your shopping trip. What are wild wonders? Um, it's just like a variety of different tomatoes. They, I feel like they're supposed to have a different flavor. I don't know if I tell it. I, I like sweet but. tomatoes. We'll get angel sweets, so. And these are about five bucks at Wegmans. Yeah, so, so this is like, we're saving like a lot of money couple here. Couple bucks, which I think that's what you can find a lot at Walmart where you literally will save like sometimes two to three bucks on an item. These look really good too though. Why don't we get one of each? The authentic grape Because tomato, Because these Santa tomatoes sweets. last a long time. Those look really good. Don't yeah. refrigerate your tomatoes. They do not like it. They don't? No. Why? They want to be kept on the counter. Okay. <laughs> you went dad on them. Yeah. They were driving around in the little handicap car. I don't know. What do you call them? Not handicap carts. The little carts. The, the electric carts. motorized carts. So I'm like, you know? yo, what happens if an alley person needs that? He's like, I'll give it to him. I'm like, how are they supposed to find you when you're way back in the store? And guess what he did? He put it back. Yeah. He's like, oh, that guy ain't fooling around. I don't think he knew what to say when you said that. You're like, okay, bro. I'm like, whatever, bro. <laughs> If you're not someone who's bougie about name brand stuff, I was for a bit and then I got over that quickly, you can save so much money. Don't get me wrong, there's certain things in particular I have to have name brand for, but you know, in terms of bread, you're getting bread, hamburger rolls, hot dog buns, going with great value or like the Walmart brand stuff is gonna save you so much. It's only a dollar. It's only a cheaper. dollar compared to like these right here are three twenty four. There you've saved two bucks on just buying one package of hamburger buns. So 
What do you get? I don't honestly see a huge difference. To me, bread's bread. It all tastes good. <laughs> well, you like sandwiches. I love sandwiches. I literally grew up on Little Debbie snacks. Although we didn't always have a huge variety in our house, but I remember like saving up enough change to go to the gas station on my walk to school in the morning. Like if I had a dollar, I could buy like an oatmeal cream pie and a fudge round. I was never oatmeal cream pie guy. I love Nutty Buddies. That's what I was going to say. If you comment below your favorite Little Debbie treat, if you ever had these. I think I'd have to say mine were, um, ooh, this top. They have new ones now. Didn't they have a coffee cake? Oh, my sister loved these, the pecan spin wheel things. Move your hand. Uh, I think mine were probably fudge rounds. Oh, Star Crunches too. I also love those. Man, I can't believe they still make all this stuff. Might be a dietitian, but doesn't mean I didn't grow up loving junk, you guys. Make America fat again. <laughs> if you're really invested in saving some money, make out like your typical grocery list, put it in an Excel file. And then if you have a day where you've got a little time, go through um, your common stores that you have local to you. And usually you can go online and find the price of everything now with Instacart and stuff like that. It's usually all available online. So just go online, take the time, because all you have to do is really do it once, even though price is going to fluctuate. It's going to give you an idea of maybe some cost savings with either certain items or maybe just all together. It's worth doing your full grocery store haul at one place versus another. Especially since we eat the same. Like, we eat the same items, like, all the time. For the most part, yeah. We've got, like, I'll get some variety in my food, but we have staple items that we always buy. And then, you know, I might, like, make some different stuff during the week that I'll pick up. But we have staple stuff. So for us to kind of at least lock down the staples and where we can get it from the cheapest can be really helpful. This stuff, really? Ever? Hardly? I and sometimes get frozen meals. But, like, I feel like this, like, especially this stuff is where you can super save, which I know because I used to buy frozen yes. veggies, like the steamer the, veggies. Yeah. And I used to save so much money at Walmart. They'd be like a dollar cheaper per yeah. bag, at yeah. least, sometimes See, like too. Like the frozen dinners, frozen pizzas, things like that, you can usually save a, a buck or two on anything in your frozen sunshine. So, I don't know why people are, like I feel like people are afraid to shop at Walmart. I check expiration dates wherever I go because Wegmans can be the fanciest in our area, but they get me all the time with bad expiration dates. Healthy meal spot in the freezer section is just like everything that's cauliflower based and keto, which I don't. Does that kind of trigger you as a dietitian? Huh? Does that kind of trigger you? It triggers me because I think, like, don't get me wrong, I love all the cauliflower substitutes, but like, you don't have to eat everything in the form of cauliflower for you to be healthy. You can eat regular grains and be healthy. You know, I do think it's cool to have so many options to increase your vegetable intake, or if you, you know, say you're a diabetic and really do need to like watch and moderate your carbohydrates, you're trying to lose weight, compete, all those great things, but it also like stigmatizes that anything that's not in the form of cauliflower isn't healthy. So yeah, I don't like that. I often grab freezer veg, just like the steamer, and these are definitely so much cheaper. So I would say probably at least 50 cents to a dollar. I don't have it on me right now, but if you're someone that buys this kind of stuff for you or your family, it's worth buying at Walmart. Even if you're going with bird's eye, you could go even cheaper and get the Walmart brand. So that was a buck 97. These are like 90 cents. All right, so if you're not being extra about your brand names, a lot of money to be saved. This is where I'm a little bit picky. I like the Heinz no sugar added ketchup, which actually Heinz is the only brand I think that has the no sugar added. But Walmart's like the only place I can find the bigger bottle of it. That's 482. And you're wrong because G Hughes, no sugar added. Oh, Gee Hoos, yeah, I don't like Gee Hoos ketchup. I do. For the same price, is yeah. a small bottle, like this size. Right. Actually, no, it's this size bottle for the same price at Wegmans. Right, yeah. And that so is 40, cheaper. 482 for this, 318 for this guy, so. And compared to if we went to Wegmans, tons of money saved by getting the big one. I think I am gonna grab the big one just while I'm here. Yeah, have it on put hand. the cupboard. This is cheap, quite quite a bit cheaper, huh? Yeah, because this is a pound for five eighteen. Usually, the leaner you go with meat, the more expensive it's gonna be. Um, but that's really good five eighteen like for for sixteen ounces. Almost seven dollars at Wegmans. Think about that. But if 
make sure you're definitely checking dates because all of these plus a ton of these expired expired these are both expired people are gonna get sick what's five dollars divided by four like a buck 25 uh, yep so if you think about it when people say healthy eating is so expensive you get 16 ounces here so what i'll do is cook these into four servings you have four patties that's going to give you 20 Five, 27 grams of protein for only a dollar, like a little over a dollar. If you really break it down to think about it, that's a really cheap source of great protein for you. So don't need to make no excuses. I will be honest, meats, Jason and I are a little particular about. We do tend to go more organic if we can, which is kind of limited at Walmart. So we may tend to pay a little bit more and get our meats elsewhere. That Huh? That Wegmans. Can I get two of those? Two of these? Yeah. Protein option that's really affordable and then even cheaper at Walmart is getting something like tuna fish. I always love having that on hand because it's ready to go for the most part. You can buy the packets, which are great to travel with. They even make them in salmon now as well. You're going to pay a little bit more for the packets compared to the actual cans, but you can get this four pack of chunk light tuna for less than four bucks. Each can has 22 grams of protein. So less than four dollars, so less than a yeah. dollar. For Three ninety-eight. I consider four ounces a, a serving. Is that yeah. like with a technically that's, a serving of yeah, meat? Yeah. Four it ounces, is. and that's a what I always eat. That's what you eat. So yeah, you get four cans in here, less than four dollars. Yeah, you need a can opener, so not a big deal though. You can grab a packet as well if you need to travel with it, but. You know, I think people forget about the convenience of tuna fish. And then some people, I get it, just don't like fish, but I yeah. do. And some people are worried about the mercury content if you eat too much of it. Yeah. If you really need to save money though, I kid you not, I lived off canned fruits and veggies in college. And now I have the luxury of not having to do that, but honestly, I still love canned fruits and veg. So much money to be saved here. Uh, one can is 208, depending on what you get. This one, I'm wondering if this is a little more expensive. You can get the Walmart version cheaper, but they do have the no sugar added ones. That is one thing you have to look for when you're buying canned items. Is there added sugar? Is there added sodium that you want to avoid in your diet? So one thing you can do is look for no sugar added or no salt. The other thing you can do in particular with the vegetables back here, if you do grab some veggies and there is salt added to it to preserve it, you just rinse it. You can do no salt added, but if not, you can get the green beans, sweet peas, and then rinse it under water and that'll take away quite a bit of the sodium save a lot of money save even more money because if you're someone that tends to let fresh produce waste having canned fruits and vegetables on hand they're not gonna go bad for like a year so it is a good way to save money if you're not wasting food and there is still nutritional value to canned and frozen goods people tend to be like oh you're eating canned goods that's not as healthy it's better to just eat the fruits and vegetables so highly suggest making sure you have some canned goods on hand please really surprise i didn't realize what a vast selection walmart has of different cooking oils and cooking sprays they even had pumpkin seed walnut oil basically any kind of oil you could want or need for cooking which this is something um you know different oils cook better than others and also you can get a lot of added crap in your cooking oils and sprays we just found the um, organic extra virgin olive oil spray that's the only ingredient in there 328 for a bottle that's actually quite cheaper than Wegmans so we're gonna grab this here as well and probably keep picking it up here versus at Wegmans gotta save some cash Cashish. These, these prices they're cheaper these are almost three dollars at Wegmans are you serious yeah they're like 298 Dang. It's like dude so even though it's more expensive these are convenience obviously buy something like this cook it up that's gonna go a lot further if you have a rice cooker or something and then you don't get the added ingredients which i was using these and i'm like Honestly, wait a second what I else is in here there's canola oil in there i'm pretty sure yeah canola yeah. oil heidi oh. swears by her rice cooker because she just throws it in there with water and it sits on the counter for three days and stays super fresh as i mentioned meat can get a little funny at walmart depending on what i want but they do have a pretty decent selection in the frozen foods for frozen wild-caught fish 
which Jay and I do a lot of fresh, but in the winter months, I will get some frozen on hand. They have wild caught orange roughy, which is actually kind of hard to find. They have wild caught salmon, cod, flounder. Really impressed because it is kind of difficult to find the wild caught uh, in fresh or frozen. So it's a nice option cost wise. It's probably on point. If not, you maybe will save like a dollar or two compared to other it's stores. It's probably, the great value is probably a little cheaper. Yeah. Um, for sure. Oh, they got mahi mahi, snap. Wow, I'm just overall really impressed. Frozen doesn't taste as good as fresh, but, but hey, if you're trying good. to save some money, Honestly, it's definitely. Honestly, throw it in the air fryer though with some seasonings. Sometimes you don't even notice that it came from frozen. Yeah. You know? Remember when you used to be so uncomfortable filming like in public? Yeah. And now it's like neither one of us now gives it's like, two Fs. It's the day before the 4th of July. It's like the busiest day ever in here. And I'm like, whatever. We do like ourselves some diet sodas every now and then. Yeah, and this is the cheapest Definitely don't place. get it at Wegmans. No. This is like way cheaper. Um, yeah, to get, is sometimes other stores will have like buy four, get a dollar off or something, but. If you're just buying a 12 pack of soda, this is always the cheapest. Whoa, look at this. Oh my Dude. God. Let me see the macros. What? You guys like those macros? What are they? Four and a half fat. Can you read it? 50, 54 carbs. Eight grams I, of fat. I will pass on the 54 carbs. I bet it's drink. tasty though. <laughs> uh, I, I would hope so for 54 carbs and 12 fluid ounces. Yeah. It better taste amazing. As requested, we're gonna do a video talking about energy drinks. So I just wanted to buy a selection of energy drinks to have for reference because every energy drink is so different. So I just kind of wanted an assortment for the video. So get a Lani new, grab I'm a bang. Get, like, should I grab like one that actually has sugar in it? Yeah. Is there? Bang doesn't have any sugar in it. No. But if you want to grab it, because their profile is different, because that has like That's what I was thinking. BCAAs. And I wonder if I should also grab like a monster that has coffee in it, because that's yep. kind of a different. This has 62 carbs in it. Only save a little bit of money on dairy products too, I've noticed. It's cheaper to go with the bulk size, but I do like having the individual yogurt. So I'm gonna get a four pack for four seventeen. Ends up being a, a buck a piece. Even the Clio bars, I really like these too. They're the cheapest at Walmart. They are a dollar a piece, but they're really good. I bought those in bulk at BJ's, and I don't really think I actually saved any money on them. I think I got fourteen in a box, and I think they were like. $14. I could be wrong. That's the thing. You got to also be you careful because people think that, oh, this is a, because it's a not, discount store. Everything's right. going to be cheaper. And, and that's not the case. It's not the case. And a lot of times it, it works with the deals that they can get with the manufacturer. Right. So, okay, we're going to not discount this, but we're going to take a hit on this type of thing as well because it'll drive people to the stores to buy right. other items. Right. So you got to be really careful with like thinking because you're at a wholesale store or something yeah. or even a Walmart that it's cheaper because it's not always the case. Right. I mean, BJ's in any store, I guess, has like coupons. If you're like a good coupon clipper, that's another thing that could save you some money too. It all takes a little bit more time. If you want to save money, it does take a little bit of time into your planning for stuff. Pretty sure What's it's like 5 69 for 100% grass-fed organic at really? Wegmans. Okay. Yeah, it's like 569. What is it? 497 here. Yeah, dang, that's a good deal. This I buy specifically for my protein coffees. It just it makes the difference. Mm, Between so that and then buying the Starbucks pre-bottled, you save so much money. Versus going to Starbucks, oh my goodness. And you put one scoop of protein, so it also acts like a meal, Expensive which also has been doubling to make it easier yeah. to get your protein in. Yeah, plus I used to go to Dunkin', and I don't even like Dunkin' coffee that much. It was out of pure convenience. I would go to Dunkin' and spend like, sometimes I'd spend five to six dollars on a coffee. You got me a cashew milk. Cashew. I typically like organic almond milk, but they don't have it here and we're almost out. So we'll just take a regular uh, unsweetened um, so cashew. I was saying I normally buy, I would buy a coffee at Dunkin', right? And it could cost me anywhere from like five to six bucks. And half the time, like Dunkin' coffee was so like variable, like they were never consistent. Whereas when you go to Starbucks, I feel like the coffee was always good at Dunkin'. It would suck half the time where I'd get to work and I'd be like, I can't even drink this. And it every place around good. here, employees are not good. Huh? Employees are never good. No, they always so then the I would like have spent that money. I wouldn't have liked it. And then I need to have caffeine because I do need caffeine. 
Um, so then I'd have to buy something else. So I would just spend so much money. I'm glad I kind of found what I love. These are so good. It's probably the cheapest place you're gonna get them is Walmart, but. This is what you were drinking on your live launch party. It yesterday. was. Oh, what do they I want? don't have your blue I here, want but. more oranges. I got purples and greens yesterday, right? So I'm just gonna grab a couple oranges. Why don't you grab, uh, you're gonna drink them. Just grab four total. And then 10 out of 10. <laughs> yeah. Paper goods. Laundry detergent, dish machine Contact pods, solution I need. Contact solution. Any of those things, definitely much cheaper at Walmart. Yeah, don't get definitely it in a normal grocery store. Cheaper. And go with off-brand. Like, why do you need bounty paper towels? Because of the quicker picker-upper. What? You it's were so quick to say that. You were, like, defensive about the because, quicker... Because of the quicker picker-upper. Because they're better. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry, guys. I just can't get down with okay, the like, off-brand paper towels. Like, paper plates things like that. We also grab one in Walmart. Jason enjoys Quest bars. We both enjoy Quest chips. They sell these in bulk too. We save a good amount of money buying them here, yeah, so. Because these are 250 each at Wegmans. Yep. So you get four for eight, and these are 250 each at Wegmans, so they're $2 here, so you save 50 cents. So buy two bags, you already saved a dollar. Looks like we're about to get turned. <laughs> Right, that's gonna conclude my little Walmart budget haul. I'd give you the total cost, but I got all those energy drinks, so that kind of... Increased it a lot. Yeah, that doesn't really give you a good idea, but I hope you found some tips helpful in this video. If you have any budget-friendly tips that you wanna share, please comment those below. Be sure to subscribe to the channel, like this video, do all the things. Let me know where you wanna see me shop below, and I'll see you in the next one. <laughs> I get the steady shots like this. <laughs>